Welcome back to the channel everyone, The Santa Maria here and yes, today we are doing the weekly candle post burn review video. Yes, everyone's favorite video of the week because this is when I tell you all what candles I burned and give a dedicated review to the candles that I completely burned down. As always, when it comes to weekly candle post burn review, I rate candles by three categories. The first category is burn experience and that is literally how did the candle actually burn? Did it tunnel? Did it flame up really high did the wax do something weird we talk about it there in the burn experience category the second category is throw on a scale of 1 to 10 with 1 being scentless wax and 10 being powerhouse and yeah it's going to be everything and I need a crate of it <laughs> and then the third category which is the most important category and that is simply would I repurchase this candle again and that is a yes or no answer so yes, now you know the criteria of how I do candles for the new elves in the building. The old elves know the drill, but I had to break it down for the new ones. But at last, as always, before we get all the way into the candles, yes, we have to take care of some things first. Lipstick of the day, everyone. I went with a classic 90s lip look. Yay, the 90s were everything. It was so much good, such a good time. And the lipstick of the day is from Fenty, and this is the, um, gloss bomb cream in honey waffles yes check that out it's the perfect like muted brown color it's kind of goldeny get into it juicy and since we're here i went in with my mac chestnut lip pencil to create the dark brown outline that's given oh so mary j blige back in the day yes fragrance of the day everyone fragrance of the day i went with a easy reach because i did not have a lot of time at the moment and yet it did what it needed to do as it always does and this is macy's francis kirk john's baccarat rouge 540 yes the original edp as you can see well loved i've already done a comparison video of the two baccarats definitely check that out in your spare time i have it linked up top for y'all to check out i know you all enjoy these moments so here's a beauty moment we're talking nails today i recently went to my local sally's you all get into it and yeah i was on the hunt to get my nail color back because elves you all gave me such compliments on this color that i needed to add this color to my collection permanently and this is the opi how does your zen garden grow y'all remember this green that i had on my nails about like a week and a half ago well yes i had to go ahead and buy it you all i'll have it linked below again for you all to check out but yeah i had to get this color and yeah it was the last one so apparently the girls are finding out about it then the other color i picked up this one is also trending this summer from opi this is the gelato on my mind nail color i cannot wait to play in this one this will be so pretty on my toes can't wait again i have it linked below for you all to check out and that's your beauty moment today <laughs> Now let's get into these post burn candle reviews. The first candle we're going to talk about is from the house of Goose Creek. I know it's been a minute. Hello friend. This is a large jar candle and this is the cherry cobbler candle. Check that out you all. Do you see how dark this is? Yeah we gotta talk about it. So burn experience. Flames were high. Flames did what they need to do but honey did they ever suit. Get into all of this suit yeah mm, not good <laughs> two wicks as you can see in the jar yeah cherry cobbler did what it needs to do i caught this candle back when they had like a large jar sale and this was still available at the moment it's currently not available but as always with goose creek you always have to check their website just to see because sometimes they do bring candles back which they do a very good job of so there's that throw on a scale of one to ten cherry cobble was really nice this was a pleasant bedroom scent and i give the throw a seven i could definitely smell the cherry and i could smell the crust note in here so this was very pleasant to burn for us the smell soup not so much <laughs> now would i repurchase this candle again it was good but it was not it's not my favorite cherry scent so i kind of got tired of it too as well along the way so i was like okay i'm kind of over you so would i repurchase this candle again it is a no so goose creek cherry cobbler no i would not repurchase it was still a good candle for smell but i don't have to have another one the next candle whoop, almost fell over there that we're going to talk about this one made my superlatives for bath and body work spring 2022 check that video out too if you haven't watched it already this is the blueberry pie candle blueberry pie came back to us finally we've been waiting on it yay blueberry pie from bath and body works 
the notes are juicy blueberries flaky crust sugar crystals yes and another good thing was the price point on this one was $24.50 as compared to this $26.50 that's been going on so you came back in a way that we really like you mm -hmm. we appreciate that three wicks right there so now let's get into burn experience this was a very even burn i didn't have to babysit it i could light it and walk away although this was my film and studio candle of the moment so this was very pleasant this is what i would burn and be smelling while i was editing there for a minute so yeah this was very nice it was a vibe throw on a scale of one to ten i'm happy to report that this blueberry pie retained its true character this was a ten powerhouse certified candle and we are so here for it <laughs> So very happy to report that Blueberry Pie was a powerhouse 10 out of 10. It smelled like shredded up blueberries and crust in here and I was here for it. So you can already tell where I'm going with this. Would I repurchase this candle again? Absolutely, yes I will. If I see any more at um, SAS, which is coming up in June, we're now seeing the official mailers on that. June 14th is the date. Yeah, I plan to pick up a Blueberry Pie because I think I will also enjoy this in the warmer weather, so yeah. Bath and Body Works Blueberry Pie is a yes. The next candle we're gonna talk about is from Homeworks, you all. And this one has a special place in my heart because this is one of the first candles I ever ordered from Homeworks, what began my Homeworks journey. So I was very happy when I did um, end up receiving this one as a gift from the brand. And this is the Coastal Water Lily. Yes, Coastal Water Lily from Homeworks. So this has a special place in my heart. Mm. All right, elves, let's talk about it. Notes, we have Water Lily, Pink Jasmine, white peony in peach blossom you all let me tell you something this candle is floral aquatic and it's a dream and i'm here for it check it out four wicks with the standard big daddy glass that we like from homeworks so let's talk about the burn experience it was very pleasant this one was very nice the flames were beautiful at night because I like to burn this one when it was like low light, kind of giving like subtle vibes. So that's what I was doing with this one. And the smell was just everything. Again, water, florals, aquatic. That's what this is. And it was everything. Throw on a scale of one to 10. Throw on this one was a nine. Strong to be a watery candle. And I'm like, whoa, I don't know how y'all bought it that. But yeah, it has to be the water lily to me. I think they gave it the punch everything this was a nine would i repurchase this candle again yes i would because again like i said it has a special place in my heart and it's actually really really good this to me is the type of floral candle like guys are like because i must say even the head elf commented on it hmm, i like that one because this the aquatic note gives it a little bit of a masculine touch so yeah this one was gentleman friendly Again, this is the Homeworks Coastal Water Lily, and it is a yes for a repurchase. Absolutely. The next candle we're going to talk about is from Aldi. This is from the Luxury Candle line. This was Huntington Home, and the candle we're talking about is White Almond. White Almond has my, been my favorite candle from Aldi. They normally came in their regular packaging, but when they upgraded it, I had to see what it was talking about. So with White Almond, luxury packaging, this was two weeks this time. And I will say you all, let's talk about the burn experience. She suited, she suited, but she took her time burning. So a long burn experience, I will give her that. But yeah, she suited a little bit, as you can tell around that, that rim. And now it's going to throw. So this is one I will say, y'all, it took a minute for this candle to really get going scent-wise. It took three burns before I could finally get the white almond smell that I'm used to. And again, I've purchased white almond in the past, so like I know what I'm looking for here. And it took three burns for me to get there. But once we got there, I was like, okay, that's the white almond I know. Cool. So throw on this one because it took so long, I can't give it... A higher rating i gotta give it about a five this one was a five to me it's regular huntington home packaging is yeah that one's stronger to me straight up but just what it is so would i repurchase the luxury line version of white almond from aldi again no i would not i would recommend you purchase the traditional three wick version because that one was stronger and it didn't take as long for the scent to come out so yeah this version of white almond no <laughs> no i would not the next candle we're gonna talk about is a single wick candle, and this is from Bath and Body Works. This is the Serenity candle from their aromatherapy line. I've had this one for a minute and I finally burned it. Notes we have our Magnolia, Rose, and Marigold. So extremely floral. Single wick, as you can see. Now let's talk about burn experience. 
very even very easy i could burn it and do my work there's nothing more to say there now throw on a scale of one to ten you want let me tell you something even already burned down, this thing is still strong. Throw on a scale of one to 10 for serenity. This was a nine, it was a powerhouse. Ooh, this was really loud. I'm actually glad I have another candle of it because I did buy it as a set of two. And yeah, this is great. This is, they need to bring this one back. Just saying. Would I repurchase this candle again? I actually would because I remember buying it on the whim, but after burning it now, I really enjoyed it. And I'm glad I have another one like I stated earlier. So again, Serenity by Bath and Body Works. Yeah, you were really good. I like you. And now Elves, the last candle. This one needs no introduction to the channel. Mmm, because if you've been with me, then you know. The next candle I'm talking about is Bath and Body Works White Barn Core, and this is Sun Drenched Linen. Let me tell you something. If they stop making every other candle they make in their catalog, I will be okay with that, except for this one. This is the one candle I have to have. Dare I say, this might absolutely be my all-time favorite candle from Bath & Body Works. Definitely in the top three for sure. Say that right now. So let's get into the notes. Sun drenched linen. We have clean, cool linen, crisp, tart apple, and soft musk. Those are our notes three wicks check it out and now let's talk about the burn experience it did really good i will say if you all can notice the ring down there towards the bottom so once you got about to the 80 percent point that's when the suiting happened it got a little dirty there i was like hmm, i don't know i'm actually convinced that the head elf was just burning this candle a little bit too long yeah i noticed he really enjoyed this one too when he told me so i said mm-hmm yeah, I have to supervise you with my candles. <laughs> but yes, he approves of sun drenched linen as well. I mean, it's clean, hey. Clean is never out of style. Throw on a scale of one to 10. To me, sun drenched linen is beautiful. It is a solid, this one was an 8.5, y'all. Like, so it's in the powerhouse category. It just filled the entire space. It was loud. It did what it needed to do. And it just smelled clean in here, even when I actually needed to clean. So yeah, that's why we like to keep sun drenched linen around when we need to just freshen up the space. <laughs> and next up would i repurchase this candle again uh yeah give me a crate of it tomorrow please <laughs> we love sunshine linen and i'm glad that it's now back in stores because at one point it was no longer in my stores i had to order it online i was like wait a minute now stop that but then i went in on my last trip when i did my last haul that i showed you all for summer the summer kickoff haul definitely check that out if you haven't and they had it on the shelf again so i was like yay it's not going away so i will be picking up some more sun drenched linen in the very near future so yes i will be getting more of it so all right elves that wraps up this here video for a weekly candle post burn review let me know what you think in the comments below as y'all always do because you all do not hold back <laughs> <laughs> and I love it. My elves are so opinionated and that's why you all are my people and I love it. So if you're digging me, subscribe to the channel, like the video, and if you don't like neither one, that's okay. I still appreciate you taking time out of your day to watch the channel. All right, then I'll catch y'all in the next video. Bye elves. <laughs>